Hey, man, I'm going to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers, man. Um, they're about 10 games in. And, you know, beginning of the season, these 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 uh quote unquote you know what I'm saying expert analysts NBA analysts were were giving the Lakers 50 something games I believe Shannon Sharp said they'll win 52 53 uh you know it's a, some other people I know um Stephen A Smith said that they're going to go to the Western Conference Finals now we only 10 games in right so to me it's no need to panic but I'm going to tell you the basis of a team man when you see a team and yes they have to uh, come together. But people fail to realize LeBron James, Rondo, JaVale McGee, Lance Stevenson, those guys are, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say Le, Le, McGee is not too, is not that old, but those guys are, got a lot of NBA mileage on them. And I was telling people that LeBron James, eventually he's going to, I thought he was showing his age last year. Because in the second half of games, LeBron James slows slows down. That's what he does in the in this year. In the second half of games, you can see that he slows down. And the Los Angeles Lakers are playing at a faster pace than LeBron James is really used to in the East. In the East, you know what I'm saying, there's more of a slower pace in the East, team by team. In the West, even if you want to slow it down in the Western Conference, those guys like to play fast, like Golden State, Houston, Denver, even Utah is playing fast. I remember back in the day when I used to look at foot, I mean look at look at the NBA, Utah was a, was one of the teams in the West that slowed it down with Malone and Stockton. But now they play fast, so Memphis play fast. Sacramento, you have all these teams playing fast, and LeBron James is expending a lot of energy night after night after night. And I told people that they, I was giving the Lakers forty eight games, barely getting into the playoffs, the eight seed. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if they get a little hot, maybe they can get the sixth seed. But I don't even see the sixth seed in their, in their future. I don't even see the seventh seed in their future. I say the I see the Lakers when we either get the eighth seed or they don't or they're not going to make the playoffs because of the, the matter. The simple matter. The fact is, everybody was focused on oh he he's not going to make the uh you know it's going to be hard in the West. But you have to look at the Eastern Conference teams. Toronto, Toronto didn't take a step back. You know what I'm saying? They got Kawhi Leonard, and they won yesterday. They beat the Lakers without Kawhi Leonard. So the the Toronto Raptors are are better. The Milwaukee Bucks are better. The Milwaukee Bucks just lost their first game a couple days ago, two or three days ago, to the Boston Celtics, I believe. The Boston Celtics are you know are the Boston Celtics. You got the Sixers. You got uh, teams in the um in the East that can that can um, beat uh, the Lakers and match up pretty good against the Lakers. And he not only have to worry about the West, he have to worry about the East. He got to play every team in the East twice. Are you thinking the, the Lakers going to beat the San Francisco twice? They're going to beat uh, Milwaukee twice. They're going to beat uh, the Boston Celtics twice. They're going to beat Toronto twice. You know what I'm saying? The first Eastern Conference team they played this year was Toronto, and they lost against Toronto. And that's the uh, team that uh, you know LeBron James have a mental hold on the most in the East is the Toronto Raptors, and they beat them. They beat them pretty handily. So. I mean, I seen some of the highlights, and I seen the first quarter. They had them down forty-two to ten, or something like some some crazy number, some crazy blowout number. And you know, Luke Walton is going to be the guy that's going to be the fall guy. But I, Luke Walton has no. Let me repeat this: Luke Walton has no influence on the roster. He did not bring Lance Stevenson in. He did not bring Rondo in. He did not bring Jamel McGee in. And if people don't think that LeBron James have influence on on those guys coming in, they highly crazy. Believe me, Magic got with LeBron James about Rondo. Y'all know Rondo passed with uh, LeBron James. It's not a good one. He had to ask LeBron James, is it all right to bring Rondo, uh, Rondo? He had to ask for Lance Stevenson because Lance Stevenson and LeBron James also have history, bad history, when um, Lance Stevenson was with uh, Indiana Pacers. You know what I'm saying? Remember Lance Stevenson blew in his ear? So, trust me, he had he had some influence on him coming there. And like I said, it's going to be a, a scapegoat. LeBron James already is hinting that these young players, these young players keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. LeBron James do this every, almost every year. He throw his team up under the bus, man. This is what he does. He's not a leader. LeBron James is not a leader. He's not a leader, man. That's just it. That's just what it is. He is not a leader, 
And this is what he does. He does it every year, and he always need an escape goat. They, the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs. Luke Walton going to get fired in a couple weeks. And that's what it is. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Let me know if y'all think the Lakers will make the playoffs. I'm out.